YouTube, welcome back. PPS here, um, 3rd of January into 2022. So weird saying that. Um, but we are back. Like I said, I'm going to get this a little bit here. Uh, just a little bit on my face, a little bit under there. I need to shave, get a haircut tomorrow. So last time seeing the shaggy, shaggy ass hair here. So um, coming off yesterday, massive, massive day. Um, I believe overall around seven units. Ended up cashing free plays around five units for you guys. So um, Joey B comes through as always. Um, let me see if I have the – oh, yeah, Joey B right here. 24 and a half completions, easy 1.25. Uh, had him in every FanDuel. Ended up doing decent on FanDuel this week. Um, so that was a nice cash. Jonathan Taylor over 106 and a half, 2.75 units cash in on the stream. Hopefully you guys were able to pop in on the stream. I know it was a – a last minute type of deal. Um, but yeah, we ended up cashing that in um, as well as our other plays that we had for um, my free plays on, on stream there, which I believe was um, Tyreek Hill over four and a, or five and a half receptions. That one cashed in and my AJ Dillon play last night. So four and oh sweep on free plays yesterday. Um, so we have a little bit of confidence coming into today. I hate the NFL game. Um, not many NBA games I truly like tonight. Um, I see a little bit more blowouts than I expect, um, than I'd really like to see. Um, first play, I'm going to actually go with one with a pretty wide spread. Um, but it's just a guy I have to rely on here. I just think this number is too low. Um, we have Steph Curry points, rebounds, assists over 38 and a half. This is DraftKings um, giving me this line. I'm going to put 1.5 on it. Um, and yeah, hit this in four or five games. Um, crushed Utah last game, 28, nine, six, um, on the season, he's at 27.7, 5.3 rebounds and six assists, um, player efficiency rating ranked in 13th in the, in the league. Um, and I, I really, really like this spot for him. Um, we do have a big spread, which does worry me, but we do have Jimmy Butler playing. We do have Tyler hero playing. Um, so I think that they can keep it close or at least keep it close Till the third quarter, get Curry all of his minutes in here. Um, Curry uh, over his last seven games has not gone underneath 35 minutes, played up to 39 minutes um, in that tough game against Denver. Um, but yeah, with 35 minutes, pretty, pretty easily locked in. Um, I do like the spot for Curry. Um, we're playing against the Miami Heat, who allow the second most or third most after last night, third most three point attempts allowed per game sitting at 39 threes um shot against them per game um sitting at about 35 and a half percent um by the other team's um shooters and we saw last night what happens when you have a straight shooter like buddy healed seven threes on him last night 26 points um obviously buddy healed is nowhere near Seth curry um in terms of shooting prowess or um all around game but someone who kind of projects like him who can shoot that deep range three. And we've seen that they were not able to guard him um, at all. We're also going to see Draymond. Um, I believe he's coming back. I know he was out for one or two games. Um, love always hit him doing those screens, pop off passes, pop passes over his way for Curry. Um, last year versus the Heat um, in two games, he was averaging um, 30 and a half points, nine rebounds, seven assists. Um, so great numbers there. And those were in around 38 minutes. Um, usually these games do stay close. I think the 11 point spread is a little wide. Um, Jordan Poole coming back is a little bit of a concern, but I think they're going to use him off the bench, um, a little bit more. I really like this Curry spot. I think that, um, he'll probably almost get us 30 alone, um, on points. Um, but I, I think the points rebounds assist saves us a little bit there. Um, cause you know, he's going to be able to grab his rebounds like he always does. Um, and get everybody else involved if they do happen to double team him, which, which we've seen happen. So I'd like to have that um, that security blanket of the assist line um, to help me out there. So I'm going to be rolling with Seth Curry, points, rebounds, assists over 38 and a half, minus 115 over on DraftKings Sportsbook. In our last play of the day, I'm going to be rolling with the Arizona Wildcats against the Washington Huskies over 152 minus 120. I did buy a half point down. It is minus 110 um, at 152 and a half, but I always like to, I, I'm buying it down on this one. I uh, usually, I don't usually do that um, unless it's soccer sometimes for like parlays and stuff. But I think this line is, is good where it's at here at the 152. Um, we're looking at Washington and Arizona. Washington is 23rd 
um, in tempo and 82nd in adjusted defense, which, yes, it doesn't really help a lot with the defensive side of the ball, but the tempo will help us here when you're going against an offense as efficient as Arizona. Um, and we're seeing Arizona here sitting at the top, one of the top teams in the country, um, one of those teams that does both sides of the ball well. 15th in offensive adjusted offense in 11 in adjusted defense. Um, but Arizona plays fast, fourth fastest pace in the entire country. Um, and I think that this game is going to be up and down. Um, and we've seen Arizona blow teams out lately. Um, and them still get around that 60 point mark. If they're able to get 60 points, 65 points, I think that this, um, easily covers. Um, I think Arizona destroys these guys to be completely honest. Um, but one thing I will talk about here um, that I really do like is that Terrell Brown is their number one player. Terrell Brown Jr., 6'3", um, guard for the Huskies. He's averaging 21 a game, um, four rebounds, three assists. Um, one of those guys that, that can really take over a game, multiple 30-point games this year. Um, and we've seen Arizona struggle with some of these guys who can shoot well. Um, good mid-range game. Um, Frazier and Plummer for the Illinois Illini had both had 25 points. I believe Plummer had 27 um, and Wyoming had a, just a straight shooter who's not even that good. DeSale is his last name. He had 22 on these guys. So if you can shoot, you can beat Arizona, or you can at least stay close enough um, for them to keep their starters in a little while longer. We had Terrell Brown had 32 against South Dakota State, um, 30 against Wyoming. Um, and I, I just think that this game is going to be so fast that we're going to have a little bit more room for error in this one. Um, Arizona has hit 90 points in three of their last six. 80 and five of their last six. Um, Washington is averaging around 70 points per game. And like I said, Terrell Brown is sitting at 21 points per game. Um, and, and they're going to get hurt by this guard. I think that Terrell Brown is going to have a nice night. If you have like a fan duel um, college game, I think that he'll have a decent game, especially at this pace um, shooting around 85% from the line as well, which I really do like. Um, and one thing I did relate here was seeing Washington have a decent defense here, but we saw Arizona just lose. Um, in a 150-point game to Tennessee. And Tennessee is ranked second in defense um, in the country, and they play them to a 150 total. Um, I think that that's going to be one of those things that's left in their mouth. They've had over a week to sit on that um, and kind of have that in the back of their minds. They just lost that big game. Now we're going to have um, Arizona coming here, coming in here um, at home versus Washington, and I just think that this is going to be a bloodbath. I think I think we see Arizona up into the 90s. I think we can. Uh, I think I'm hoping we can get Washington into the 60s with this pace. I don't think it'll be that big of an issue. Um, I was looking at Arizona team total. I've just been burned on too many of these team totals where the over actually went over um, in the game, staying a little bit closer too. So I'm going to be rolling with the over in this game. I like it. I think it's going to be fast. Um, obviously the defenses are good, but like I said, the pace is going to be there. Um, and I think Washington will, easy, will be able to get us to that 60 to 65 point mark. Um, and Arizona will carry us the rest of the way here. So um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, plays of the day will be Curry, points, rebounds, assists, over 38 and a half. And the Arizona Wildcats, Washington Huskies, over 152, minus 120, 1.5 units on both of those. So thank you guys so much. Um, I appreciate every single one of you guys. We're close to 750. I'm pushing for a thousand here, hopefully soon. Um, so if you guys do um, really like this content, please drop a like. I really appreciate it. Um, and I hope we can keep cashing tickets together and uh, keep putting out more content over here on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. Um, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.